Exercise is hand again and it's a big booty workout. So this workout is going to include some movements that target your butt muscles to help it look bigger. And we're going to make your booty look bigger, fuller and larger. And afterwards, you're going to feel your booty so much bigger. So when you're ready, just roll out your mat and let's begin. So let's start with all four position. Now open your arms, shoulder apart, and your legs hip width apart. Tuck your feet, engage your core. Your, your hips is on top of your knees, and your shoulder is on top of your wrist. Pull your shoulder. Here, tuck your feet, and exhale. Lift it up ten times. Engage your core as much as possible. Inhale up and exhale down. And five, four, three. Squeeze your butt and squeeze your inner thigh here. And bring it down. Take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Okay. Now I want you to bring your knees and your heels together. Still tuck your feet here. And I want you to focus on the central. Engage your core and lengthen one leg to the back and come back. And ten. Make sure you don't shift your hips here. Squeeze your butt. Nine. Eight. Pull your belly button in. Seven, six, five, four. Squeeze your inner thighs and activate your foot. And last time, lengthen and bring it back to the other side here. Inhale, lengthen the leg and come back. Pull your toe to the front. And eight more times here with your own breath. Make sure you don't arch your back. But pull your belly button in and still keep your shoulder down. Okay, and three, two, and one. Lengthen and bring it down. Show your hip from left to right. Very good. Now, from here, I want you to tuck your feet here. Inhale and exhale. Lift your knees up until your lower leg parallel to the floor. Slowly bring your hips to your right and to your left, to your right and to your left. Make sure your shoulder is still on top of your wrist. And three, to your right, engage your core as much as possible. And last time, to your left, and bring it back to center, knees down. Show your hips from left to right. Now open your leg hip with a part here. Slowly tuck your feet and inhale. Slowly roll your spine chin to chest. Squeeze your butt and slowly articulate your spine. Open your shoulder, open your chest. And a couple more times, say with your own breath. Or we can reverse the breath. Exhale when you keep your chin to the chest and round your spine. And inhale, open your chest, shoulder down. And two. And last time. Okay, very good. Now from here, bring your back back to neutral and pull your belly button in. Inhale, slowly round your spine. And tuck your feet here. Now I want you to from here, lift your heels up and your knees up and bring it down. And five, four, round your spine, engage your core and still keep your shoulder far away from your ears. Three, two, and last time. Now bring it back, keep your back in neutral and stretch your spine here. Shoulder further away from your ears. Now from here, Keep it to the central, stick your heels and your knees together. Inhale, slowly open one leg to the side and come back 10 times here. Squeeze your butt. Nine, eight, seven, six. Squeeze your inner thigh to bring it back together. Four, squeeze your butt. Two, and one. Slowly bring it down and change to the other side. Open and come back open and bring it back together keep breathing here don't hold your breath in five four three two and last time bring it back together come back to try pose take a deep breath inhale and very good now from here i want you to come back to own position again Pull your shoulder further away from your ears and tuck the feet. Open your leg hip with the part here. Now slowly inhale 
and then step one leg back, straighten your right leg and lift your knees up. Now hold it here. Make sure you lengthen your neck by looking down to the mat and shoulder on top of your wrist, engage your core and keep your hips balanced. And three, two, and one step back to full plank and bring the other, the other bend your knees back. Okay, and hold it here for three, two, and one, bring it down. Bend both knees back together and come to try pose. Take a, bit, a deep breath. Inhale and exhale through your mouth. Very good. Now from here, I want you to slowly allow yourself to lie down on your stomach. Now pull your belly button in. Okay. Now from here, scapula, press it, press it down towards your hips. Inhale, slowly bring one leg up and exhale, bring it down to the other side. I want you to stick your hip bones down to the mat, belly button in. Feel like someone pulling your leg further away from the center. And squeeze your butt here, squeeze in the thighs five more times each side. To your left and to your right. Inhale up and exhale down. Four. Into your core as much as possible. Three. Stabilize your hips. And last time, inhale, exhale down. And inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Shake your hips from left to right. Very good. Now from here, I want you to open your leg here with the past still. Bend your knees and stick your toes together. Inhale, slowly move your legs up and bring it down. Scapula down, Pu press your shoulder towards your hips. And ten. Nine. Keep breathing. Inhale up and exhale down. Very good. And keep doing it with your own breath so you don't hold your breath here. And five, four, three, two. Squeeze your butt and squeeze your thighs together. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Shake your hips from left to right, very good. Now from here, I want you to inhale, slowly bring both legs up and keep your toes together like the previous movement. Now this time I want you to make a little pulse here. Squeeze your butt. Try to reach a little bit more, feel like someone pulling your leg up to the ceiling. And five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly bring it down. Shake your hips from left to right, very good. Now from here, I want you to keep your hand next to your chest and open your elbows to the back, lengthen your neck, look down to the mat here, inger your core in and slowly lengthen your legs, open your leg hip with the part here, inhale, press your hip bone down and bring your torso up, exhale, bring it down, inhale up and exhale deeply. I want you to stick your hip bone down to the mat and squeeze your butt here. Squeeze your sitting bones together and contract your pelvic floor muscle. Close your elbows, keep it parallel and all the way up to the ceiling. Very good. And five, keep breathing here. Four, squeeze your butt. Three, two more times. And last time, inhale up and exhale, bring it down, shake your hip from left to right, very good. Now from here, make a pillow under your forehead again. Inhale, lift one leg up and to the other side. Now I want you to activate your feet here and start to make a little beat with your heels. And we do it 10 times. 9, 8, 7, engage your core and hip bone stick down to the mat. Make sure you don't arch your back or you feel any pressure on your lower back by engaging your core. Belly button in, shoulder down. And three, two, and one. Slowly bring your legs down, shake your hip from left to right, very good. Now from here, lengthen your arm and lengthen the other one here. Slide down to make sure that your ear is far away from your shoulder. Inhale. Lift your arm and your opposite leg up and to the other side. 
pull your belly button in, squeeze your butt here, and lengthen, feel like someone pulling your leg away. Very good. And five to your right, to your left. Keep breathing, lengthen your neck, look down to the mat. Three, activate your feet. Two, and last time, inhale up, exhale down, and to the other side, bring it down, show your hips, okay? Now from here, I want you to make a pillow under your forehead again. Now this time, inhale slowly, activate, dorsi flex with your feet, and inhale, bring both legs up, and bring it down. Inhale up, squeeze your butt, exhale down, and eight more times. Seven. Now again, I still want you to keep your hip bones stick down to the mat. And belly button in, shoulder down. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Four. Three. When you lift it up, try to reach a little bit higher. And two. Last time, inhale, lift, exhale down and shake your hip from left to right. Now point your toes to the front, extend your ankle, inhale, and slowly bring both legs up. Open your leg to the side, come back. Scapula down, engage your core, hip bones down, and six more times here. Inhale, open, exhale, come back. Open as much as you can, but use your inner thighs to bring it back together. Inhale, and exhale, come back, and three, Two, and last time, bring it back together, legs down, shake your hips from left to right, very good. Now, interlace your finger here, push your shoulder further away from your ears, engage your core as much as possible, inhale st slowly, double tap, bend one knee, and to the other side. Now I want you to do it eight more times each side, engage your core and make sure your hip bones down. To your right, to your left. Squeeze your inner thighs when you do that and contract your pelvic floor muscle when you do that. So five, to your left, four, to your left, and three. Keep breathing, shoulder down and press your scapula down towards your hips. Two, to your left, activate your feet still. And last time, bring it down, lengthen the leg here, shake your hips from left to right, and then now I want you to keep your lower arms down to the mat. Inhale, lengthen and bring your head and shoulder down, engage your core, and press your arms down, lift your torso up, and bring it back. Ten, squeeze your butt here, squeeze your inner thighs. Seven, six. Now, if you want more challenge, you can lift both legs up, but make sure that when you do that, you don't feel any pressure on your low back. By engaging your core, if you still feel like pressure on your low back, please just put your legs down. Two, and last time, lift and bring it down, bring your legs down. Shake your hips from left to right, take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale, very good. Now from here, I want you to slowly bend your right knee up to 90 degree here, and make sure that your hips do balance. Now inhale, and exhale slowly, I want you to lift your knees up, and bring it down, lift your knees up, and bring it down. Now we do it five, four, three, Two more times with your own breath. And last time, inhale, lift, and exhale down. Now, this time, a little bit more challenging. Press your foot down to the mat and try to lift the knees up and bring it down. Knee up and down. And three, two, press your arms down. And one. Very good. Now lengthen your leg here and bend the other knee up to 90 degree. Now this time again, five times lift, activate the foot, lift, and lift, very good. 
two more times, stay with your own breath. And last time. And now from here, press your foot down. You can dorsiflex to make it more balanced. Now inhale and try to lift your knee up. And four more times here. Three. Squeeze your butt and press your opposite hip bone down. And last time, bring it down. Now lengthen your legs, shake your hips from left to right. All right. Now from here, slowly allow yourself to come to tripod position here. Take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. And when you're ready, you can slowly come to lying down on the mat. Now make sure that you're back in neutral. Pull your belly button in. Now open your arms to the side 45 degree and then bring your legs, both legs up to the ceiling 90 degree on your knee. I don't want you to change the angle on your knees right now. Just keep it there. Inhale and start to slowly move one leg down and up and to the other side 10 times each side. Squeeze your inner thighs and make sure you don't stick your lower back down to the mat but don't arch your back. So just keep your back in between. That's called neutral. Very good. And five more times here. To your right, press your shoulder down, your whole arms down to the mat. Okay. And three. To your right. And to your left. Two more times. Activate your feet. And squeeze your butt here. And last time, bring it back. And bring it down to the other side. One more time. One more time each side to your left and come back. Now from here, stick your heels and your knees together, activate your feet, inhale and slowly open your legs to the side, come back and open and bring it back eight more times with your own breath. Make sure that you still keep your lower leg parallel to the floor. Press your arms down and bring it up. Very good. Bring your legs up again and four Three. Slowly squeeze inner thighs to bring it back together. And last time, open and close. Now lengthen it all the way down to up to the ceiling. Inhale, open your legs wider and exhale, close. And ten times, stretching your legs here. Feel like someone pulling your leg up to the ceiling. All right, and seven more times with your own breath. Six. When you bring it back, try to anchor your core and bring it back slowly with your own breath. Four. Three. Two more times. Belly button in and last time. Very good. Now from here, bend your knees here. And I want you to activate your feet. Open one leg to the side. Lengthen. Come back and lengthen and bring it back. Your right leg open and your left leg still stabilized and your knee still oh, facing up forward, facing up to the ceiling. And three, two, and one. Now close and open to the other side. Lengthen, come back. Keep breathing here. Engage your core and squeeze your butt. Contract your pelvic floor muscle. And three, two, and last time, close. Now, from here, I want you to dorsiflex, inhale, and exhale slowly, open your legs to the side, and come back. Ten times here, again, squeeze your inner thighs. Eight, seven, contract your pelvic floor muscle, press your arms and your shoulder down. Okay, and four, three, keep breathing, two more times, and last time, inhale, open, and exhale, close. Now, pull your toes to the front, slowly bring each leg down. Now, shake your hips from left to right. From here, lift your heels up, open your leg hip with a part. Now, draw your hips up, press your shoulder down, and look toward your heels, your knees. Slowly make a little pulse with your hips here. So 10, 9, 8, squeeze your butt, squeeze your inner thighs, and make sure you keep your hips balanced. 
and both knees facing up to the ceiling. Great. And three, two, and one. Slowly draw your hips down. Shake your hips from left to right. Now from here, bring one leg up and the other leg up. Now open it hip width apart here. And I want you to try to straighten your legs here. Activate your feet and keep the same distance from both knees and ankle. So your legs still parallel. Very good. And five, squeeze in the thighs. Four, three, two more times. Squeeze your butt always. Last time. Beautiful. Now stick your heels and your knees together. Dorsi flex here. Arms along your body. Inhale and exhale slowly. Push your leg away and come back. Push it, straighten your legs and bring it back together. Feel like someone pulling your legs away from the center. Make sure you don't arch your back here. Pull your belly button in, navel to spine. Engage your core as much as possible. Very good. And five, four, three, two, and last time. And bring it back. Now, I want you to lengthen one leg and bend one leg down. Now, pull your toes up to the ceiling. Slowly draw a half circle and up. Half circle, inhale and exhale up. Inhale, open to the side and exhale. Bring it back to the center. So three more times, stay with your own breath. Inhale, down and exhale, up. Last time. Very good. Now from here, reverse six more times. Five. Stabilize your hips here. Pull your belly button in. Three. Two. And last time. Beautiful. Now bring it back. Bend your knee. Bring it down to the other side. Activate your feet. Inhale and slowly draw a half circle here. Again, stabilize your hip. And inhale halfway. Exhale halfway. Like we draw a half moon. And three more times here before we reverse. Two. Last time, all the way up to the ceiling. And reverse down and to the side. And down and to the side. Press your other foot down to the mat to make sure it's not really moving. And two more times here. And last time. Bring it back and bend your knee. Bring your leg down, okay? Now from here, I want you to open your arms to the side again and slowly lengthen your leg up and lengthen the other leg to 45 degree. Inhale and exhale. Use both legs to draw half circle to the side and switch. And we try to do it 10 times each side. Very good. And nine, keep breathing. Make sure you don't arch your back. Seven. And six. Keep breathing. Belly button in. Press your shoulder down. Activate your feet. Five. Four. Slowly keep breathing. Inhale down and exhale up. Okay. And three. To the other side. Two. And last time. Inhale, open and exhale. Come back. Bend your knee. Shake your from left to right. Very good. Now take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. And bring your leg back to 90 degree again. Activate your feet here. Slowly allow yourself to open your legs wider. Now keep it here. I want you to move your knees toward your head. So like a little pulse, 10 times. Activate your feet. Press your shoulder and your hips down. And five, four, three, two, 
and one slowly close it together and then open it just keep it in the middle so not like all the way to the side but in the middle inhale and exhale slowly make a little pulse inside and out and 10 9 8 7 squeeze your inner thighs here contract your pelvic floor muscle keep breathing don't hold your breath and 3 2 and one slowly dorsiflex and now lengthen one leg come back to the other side bring it back and five to your left four to your left keep breathing with your own breath belly button in two more times each side and last time inhale exhale back and inhale close together very good now from here push put your legs down and keep your feet flat. Open your legs here with the part here. Arms along your body. Now inhale slowly, draw your hips up. Now from here, inhale, open your knees wider and come back only on your right. Open, come back heels down and heel up. Open, squeeze your inner thigh, press your arms down, reach your hand towards your heels. So we try to do it six more times here. We do it 10 times total, five, four, squeeze your butt, contract your pelvic floor muscle, two more times, and last time, inhale, open, exhale, close, lift the other heel up, and open, come back, heel down, and up, open, bring it back and down, press your shoulder, down, and the other foot down to the mat. Make sure you keep your hip balance. Six more times with your own breath. Five. Squeeze in the thighs and work your outer thighs when you bring it back. Very good. And two. And last time, open, close and bring it back slowly. Draw the hips down each body breath time. Shake your hips from left to right. Very good. Now from here, I want you to bring your arms up, palms facing each other. Now still keep your legs open and feet flat here. Slowly draw the hips up each body breath time. Bring your hand over your head and come back. And ten times. Inhale. Exhale back. Nine. And reach. Keep your legs parallel. Eight. Seven. Six. Squeeze your butt. Five. Four more times. With your own breath. Squeeze your inner thighs together and feel your legs connecting to each other. And feel your body connecting to the mat. Very good. Two, inhale down, exhale up, and last time, okay? Now bring your arms down, shake your hips from the to right. Now from here, I want you to inhale slowly, hands along your body, and then keep your heels and your he knees together. Slowly bring your leg up and the other leg up, keep your hips square here. Now Darcy flex, slowly rotate. So I want you to keep your knees still, stay still only your heels move and rotate and three two and one now i want you to open it to the side and start to rotate activate your foot here and two and one bring it back together and to the other side and come back now rotate and four, three, two, squeeze in the thighs and one. Open it to the side and rotate four more times with your own breath. Two and one, slowly bring it back together and bring it all the way up to the ceiling. Make a little pause here and bend your knee to your chest. Take a deep breath, inhale and exhale and that's the workout for today hope you guys enjoyed it and see you tomorrow bye